Standard Chartered Bank Kenya has posted a 48.8% jump in net profit for the nine-month period to September with earnings of 6.4 billion shillings from 4.3 billion shillings it recorded in a similar period last year. The rise in net profits is attributed to low costs in the period which offset a drop in interest income. Stanchet's nine months interest expense have fallen to 2.8 billion shillings from 3.6 billion shillings, countering a 2.2% drop in total interest income. Property rises continue to recover according to the third quarter report by property advisory firm Has Consult, which shows Upper Hill Apartments as top performers in the suburbs at 3.1% rise, while Runda House prices retreated by 1.3%. The report also shows that towns led in land price improvements while reduced developer demand saw Ruaka lose its shine for the second consecutive quarter. Satellite towns and land prices recorded a 2.5% increase over the quarter while land prices in Nairobi registered a static 0.28%. Roy Family Hospital has received new financing from Afri Invest Private Credit. CEO Maxwell Okot says that the funding will help the facility in opening additional branches across the country as well as shoring up its working capital. The deal of an undisclosed amount was structured by a Soko Insights which connects African firms with financing partners. And finally, hotel chain Pride Inn has welcomed the Glasgow Declaration on Climate Action in the tourism sector, terming it as a pivotal step in aligning the tourism sector on UN's race to zero campaign's goal of halving its emissions by 2030 and achieving zero net emissions by 2050 at least. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.